Howdy gamers, let's talk about the runes for Kled top and mid lane. Um, mostly for top lane is that this most common role. The brief things that do change with his runes in, uh, in the mid lane are basically just matchup dependent and they pretty much translate to the top lane as well. The only keystone that you really want to look to run on Kled is Conquer. Even if you could get um, okay value out of press the attack, the AD that you build up with Conquer is really, really synergistic with how Kled's kit wants to work and then it also gives you a lot more damage potential outside of a 1v1. Um, in some ranged matchups top or mid lane press the attack might be completely fine but uh, for the for, for the reason that League of Legends isn't a 1v1 game uh, Conquer continues to outweigh it especially come mid to late game um, where you're building a Tiamat item and you have a bit of AoE in your uh, kit as well then um, the extra healing from Conqueror in combination with uh, damaging multiple champions gives you a lot more leniency and then it also helps you um, survive and then remount and yeah, that gives you a lot more value on Kled. So starting off with the Keystone, it's going to be Conqueror, obviously. Basic attacks and spells that deal damage to enemy champions grant you two stacks of Conqueror. Um, and then at 10 stacks, you also heal for 15% of damage that you deal to enemy champions. The Conqueror stacks give you bonus attack damage for Kled, and then the bonus attack damage offered scales with your level. So it's not a crazy amount, but the amount offered is good enough for Kled to get really good use out of, as with your early build, you're building like Doran's Blade into Tiamat, into, um, into any of the offensive items for him. And with that bonus AD, it's going to be giving you value even if you're lacking on items or if you're ahead. So has the dual purpose and the bonus AD offered becomes just way, 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 way more damage for Kled. Um, and that makes it even more brutal for enemies. With Conqueror 2, um, unlike other Bruiser champions, Kled doesn't make great use out of the healing until later in the game when he's on top of multiple champions. In 1v1, um, a champion such as like Irelia would be making better use of the 15% uh, the healing from uh, all damage dealt to champions versus Kled where Kled spends a lot of his damage early um, and then that's when you're building up the Conqueror but that's still fine as it's more of a damage rune for him than it is the healing part of it in the early game and in a 1v1 scenario. For the secondary rune it's going to be Triumph, takedowns restore 12% of your missing health and grant you an additional 20 gold. Uh, it basically just helps you uh, stay alive in fights whether you're mounted or unmounted and then the additional 20 gold is kind of icy on the cake. With most Bruiser champions, you're spending your health as a resource, especially in 2v2s and in 5v5s. So having more health to play with means that you can just get better positions in fight and then therefore therefore just be more useful. For the third rune, um, you have the good option of Alacrity and Legend Tenacity. But with Kled, you do have a lot of ways to interrupt or buffer your abilities through Tenacity, whether it's your Q, your E, or your ult. So you can really forgo tenacity for the attack speed as, uh, again, once you spend your initial combo on someone, you're really just your auto attacks, and having more auto attacks is really significant as you build up the AD with Conqueror, and you, it's basically all Kled has going for him. So the extra attack speed does go a long way, um, has a lot of utility in clearing the minion wave and whenever you're finally on top of an enemy champion. And again, where you have so many ways to buffer your abilities through tena or through CC, then Tenacity does lose a lot of value for Kled. If you really need the Tenacity, you could also buy it through Merc Treads. It's a really good item for Kled, and uh, yeah, missing out on the attack. It, you don't have easy itemization into attack speed, but you do have easy itemization into the Tenacity. So Alacrity is just really, really valuable for Kled, and it's really cheap for him to get in the runes um, versus through itemization. For the fourth rune, um, your best choice is Coupe de Gras or Last Stand. Um, unlike most Bruisers, Kled has advantage over most champions, especially early game. And even when he doesn't, uh, a lot of his purpose is to get on a champion and then kill them. And with Coupe de Grasse, it just helps you do that, um, whether it's the lasted of your um, W or if it's just finishing them off with any instance of damage. Coupe de Grasse is going to be giving you more damage on targets that are below 40% health. With Last Stand, gives you 5 to 11% damage increase while you're low on health, which can also be good with Kled. So. Um, if you think that you have a winning matchup top lane, then Coupe de Grasse is probably better. 
you have an even or losing matchup, then Last Stand is probably going to be giving you better value. So if you're into um, champions that can survive you, uh, one of the most common ones probably being like Mordekaiser, then Last Stand is going to be giving you more value. But if you're against a winning matchup, then yeah, Coupe de Gras is going to be giving you more value. Even if you aren't in a winning matchup top lane, maybe you can just not fight them early. And then if the enemy team comp has squishier champions that you can get onto later, champions like Janna, Soraka, Zera, every AD carry in the game, then Coupe de Gras is still going to be giving you value. Um, at that stage of the game when you're fighting those champions. So um, not totally useless. And then the most common secondary runes is going to be Resolve with Bone Plating and Overgrowth. Um, going to be your best option as where most matchups that you're playing Kled, you want to be playing it into a melee matchup. And into like basically every melee matchup, um, Bone Plating is going to be giving you really good value. With Bone Plating, after you take damage from an enemy champion, the next three spells or attacks... You receive from them DL 30 to 60 based on your level less damage. And it's on a 45 second cooldown. So not that long um, considering top lane and considering melee champions as you're not fighting each other at all stages of the game or at all stages of the lane. And with it, um, you effectively just have more HP. So even if you're jumping on the enemy champion, any damage that they turn against you is going to be dealing less damage. So that's pretty ridiculous. And... If they get the jump on you, then it's the same thing where you effectively just have more HP because bone plating is just blocking damage. Um, but in a ranged matchup, it loses a lot of value as the ranged champion could just auto attack you once and then back off. Bone plating's proc, but then it doesn't block any damage from them. Um, so, but in those matchups too, um, it will help you mid to late game as whenever you're diving onto five champions it's inevitable that they hit you and then you just therefore get more value from that um, by having more effective hp as you go in with overgrowth uh it's it's basically just giving you like a ruby crystal for free um, you absorb life essence from monsters or enemy minions that die near you permanently increasing your max health by three for every eight and then once you've absorbed 120 minions, you gain an additional 3.5% maximum health. So it gives you a ruby crystal early and then it scales up to about 200 to uh, 230 health um, in the later stages of the game. So those are going to be your most useful um, your most useful runes uh, for top lane at least. Or just for melee matchups. And then the shards are going to be attack damage, attack damage, armor. And then if you're playing into an AP matchup, obviously you can switch to the magic resist. Attack speed has some utility, especially in the mid lane where you're fighting for the wave uh, earlier. And But in the top lane, uh, usually you're just zoning the enemy champion because Kled's such a strong laner that the attack speed gains a lot of value. And where you have W as well, um, having the extra AD earlier makes you makes the laning phase just a lot more brutal for the enemy. So you do trade off a lot if you are running the attack speed over um, the AD in the rune shards. For the secondary runes, um, you do have some okay options. If you're playing Kled mid lane, um, some okay options over bone plating and overgrowth. If you're playing Kled mid lane, um, you lose a lot of value from bone plating and overgrowth, as a lot of what you're doing is playing for the wave. And especially if you're in a ranged matchup, um, you could look to just outscale them as they can withstand you early. You can still have kill potential on them level 1 to like 7. But if you're in the control matchup and then the jungler is more of a factor mid lane, then you can look to just scale to level like 9 to like 13 and then uh, start finding the enemy then. So in matchups like that, you could run something like Null, Null, Nullifying Orb and uh, Transcendence. Nullifying Orb, if you're into an AP matchup, it gives you a magic damage shield whenever you're lower. And then with Transcendence, it's going to give you 10% cooldown reduction at level 10. And with that, uh, you basically just get a little bit of free scaling for existing in the laning phase early versus having the laning tool in Bone Plating and then the HP scaling in Overgrowth. Um, and then with that extra CDR, it does go... Uh, it, it does give you an okay amount of value for Kled um, in uh, in those matchups. And then you could run Domination second with Sudden Impact and Ravenous Hunter, but the problem with Ravenous Hunter for Kled is, is that Ravenous Hunter um, heals you for a percentage of damage dealt by your abilities. So that's basically just your E, your Q, 
uh, your ult. And that's that. With Sudden Impact, you get 7 Lethality and 6 Magic Penetration whenever you use a Dash or Leap. So that would be anytime you use your Flash, E, or Ult. And with that, too, um, the, you're usually overkilling champions anyway. So uh, the, the value of Domination is like super, super low. And then with Inspiration, Kled doesn't really make doesn't really get good value out of any of these um, compared to just the HP he would gain from overgrowth or the effective HP from uh, bone plating. So that's really the variations for Kled is just the secondary runes with either uh, Null Orb and Transcendence. If you're not playing into an AP matchup mid, I suppose you could run Nimbus Cloak, but if you're playing into an AD matchup mid, it's probably a melee champion and then therefore Bone plating overgrowth would be your best options. So yeah, that's uh, that's really it with Kled runes. Again, uh, the main variations being the secondary runes, and then also Coupe de Gras and Last Stand, um, depending on your matchups. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and uh, I answer literally all of them. This, if this video helped you, leave a like on the video helps me. And uh, if you're interested in watching me talk or play League of Legends. You can check out my Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Sawyer Nelson. See you later, man. Kled, he's ulting. He's ulting. He's not showing top. Like, he's obviously coming bot lane, man. Like, missing ping it, you know?